Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Allie Winters. The title is, The Appointed Time of Your Years Has Come. And this word was posted on April 10th, 2020. Man sits in idle desperation, fear a constant companion as he awaits the uncertainty of tomorrow. The sin of compromise, idolatry, paganism, and gluttony slowly eroded the foundation on which you built castles in the sand. And now, thus says the Lord God, you have become a nation that sheds blood in her midst. Your time has come. You made idols to defile yourself. You have become guilty by the blood that you have shed and defiled by the idols that you have made and you have brought your days near. The appointed time of your years has come. I strike my hand at the dishonest gain that you have made and at the blood that has been shed in your midst. Can your courage endure, or can your hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with you? I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do it. Behold, like the clay in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. If at any time I declare concerning a nation or a kingdom that I will pluck up and break down and destroy it, And if that nation concerning which I have spoken turns from its evil, I will relent of the disaster that I intended to do to it. And if at any time I declare concerning a nation or a kingdom that I will build and plant it, and if it does evil in my sight, not listening to my voice, then I will relent of the good that I had intended to do to it. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am shaping disaster against you and devising a plan against you. Return every one from his evil ways and amend your ways and your deeds. Are we not a nation that has done evil in the sight of our God? Are we not a nation that continues to ignore the voice of God. God is indeed shaping disaster against we the people and devising a plan against us. Once again, the Holy One of Israel says, Return everyone from your evil ways and amend your ways and your deeds. How long, America, will you remain stiff necked and proud? How long? Will you reject the goodness of your God? And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.